So today we're going to take a look at downloading and installing Minitool Movie Maker 5.0. There are some reasons not to install 5.0, particularly an upgrade from 4.0, which we've got in another video, which you can take a look at above. But if you do want to download it, if you search Minitool Movie Maker in Google, the website you're looking for is moviemaker.minitool.com. If we click on there, Minitool Movie Maker 5.0 is new out and there's a free download. So if you click on that, we'll download the um, Movie Maker setup, which if you single click, press yes on user account control. You can then close Chrome because we don't need it now. It's automatically ticked to say you accept the user and privacy policy. You can select custom installation options. So English, it detects that and it's installed into the default C drive location. You might want to untick Agree to Participate in Customer Experience Improvement Program if you don't want data sent from your machine, so you can untick that. And then when you're ready and happy with the options, you can click Install Now. It will go on to download the full client, because initially it's only a couple of megabytes download, which just includes the basic installer to get you up and running. But overall, once it's downloaded it, it will download the full GUI now based on our options. The download will be the same no matter what options you pick. The only options you get to choose from are language and uh, participation in the customer improvement program and where you want to install it. But the installation itself is only a couple of hundred megabytes for the GUI. So as you can see, we're now up to 22%. And there is a nice slideshow taking you through all the features of Minitool Movie Maker 5.0. Now, there are some reasons not to upgrade to 5.0, um, which we do go through uh, in another one of our videos, which you can look at in our Minitool Movie Maker playlist. But you are more than welcome, obviously, to download it. Um, in terms of new features, we've had a look around it. There isn't an awful lot new between this and 4.0. There's things like new elements which are in here, but ultimately those new elements don't actually uh, aren't exclusive to 5.0. If you click no on the upgrade from 4.0, you will have access to those new elements in 4.0 as well. So the installation. Uh, the majority of the installation process will actually be the download on a reasonably fast internet connection. This should take less than a few minutes. We're down to the last 20 odd seconds now. Minitool Movie Maker is a really good entry level um, video editor for anybody that's looking to start editing um, videos uh, for publishing. It's got a really low burden to get started in terms of setup and user interface, which is really clean. And then after the download's finished, the install will happen automatically, and it is very rapid once it starts installing. So we're already up to nearly 100% now. And once that finishes, it will open up the website to encourage you to upgrade, which you can close. And then you simply click Start Now, and Minitool Movie Maker will open up, the splash screen starts, and then you will end up onto the main screen where you can start a new project. Hope that helps. Uh, don't forget to like the video and stick around for some more Minitool Movie Maker videos.